Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do the traditional, um, what I learned in 2017, what my goals for 2018 are, and new year, new me. That was stupid. Oh God, why do I say this shit? Okay, anyways, so sorry about my messy background. Cats, messy bed. The spare bedroom is in a work in progress right now, but I don't even know why I'm telling you that. So, 2017 was, whew, it was a whirlwind of emotions and a lot of stuff going on for me. Um, I think that the beginning of 2017 was super rough for me. I struggled a lot in 2017 at the beginning of the year. Um, normally, February is like my worst year in general, um, but um, this year was a little rough. Um... <clears throat> I had a couple of bad episodes, but um, I made it out alive. Um, I got married in 2017, so that was um, really awesome. And um, <clears throat> I switched some of my medications around, and I feel really, really good right now. Um, and I feel like I'm on a better track and a better version of myself. I'm more motivated. I feel like I'm more... Um, more back to how I feel like I should be, you know, how like a normal person maybe is. Um, anyway, so 2017 taught me a lot of things about myself, a lot of things about relationships, um, whether that be friendships, family-wise, and um, I feel like I've just grown as a better person um, in ways that I can handle different responses to different situations and learning that not every situation needs a response, whether that's negative or positive. Um, I find that a lot of the times um, I'm a very sensitive person, but I'm also very in tune to other people's, I mean, I, I feel like I am, I'm in, a lot, I'm in tune to a lot of details and things about other people's, what's going on in other people's lives. and. <clears throat> I'm always trying not to let people feel like left out or hurt. Like I try really hard not to. So a lot of times um, if somebody's talking negative or, um, you know, talking bad about someone or something, I will engage back even if I don't necessarily want to, but because I don't want that person then to think that I'm being mean to them by not engaging back with them. I don't even know if that makes any sense. But so this year I tried to, you know, listen or by the end of the year, I tried to like maybe listen, but not have a response back for everything. Um, I realized that I can be a listener and not also engage in negativity, which just brings me down. So um, that's still a 2018 goal that I'm planning on working on and planning on getting better at. Um, so leading that Leading into that, my 2018 goals, um, obviously, eat better, exercise, lose weight. You know, not that I should roll my eyes at that. And, you know, it's great that people have those goals because I know everyone gets annoyed about it. Like, new year, new me. Like, oh, it's so annoying. Blah, blah, here we go. But you know what? Let people, like, it's a new year. It's a new goal. Everyone feels refreshed. Let them. Like, you know what I mean? Who cares? But anyway, so obviously, <laughs> um diet, exercise, and not just because I want to look good, but because I've gained a lot of weight since my wedding, like 30 pounds, and I'm just not healthy. It's not like a, a healthy weight, like I've been, you know, doing good, like I've been eating bad and binge eating, which I finally realized. I hear people talking about binge eating, but I never really knew what it was, and now I realize that I do have a binge eating problem. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out um and that's something I haven't even told anybody not even my husband well we'll see if he watches this uh, a little trick but anyways so that's something that I haven't told anybody and now I'm gonna tell YouTube okay whatever um so I realized that that's a problem I have so my goal for 2018 is to be less of a binge eater less um you know more focused on eating healthy to be healthy not just to be skinny and fit and pretty and whatever um also, I want to, I'm one of those people that if I want it, I will 
look at it and just buy it right away or I'll keep looking at it and just buy it for myself and then when it comes down to like my birthday or a holiday or something people ask me what I want and nobody knows what to get me because I just buy it for myself so my goal for 2018 is maybe not necessarily to not buy things for myself um, but to make it like a like an award reward system so if I buy something or if I really want something which I mean just so everyone knows it's not like I'm buying a, a shit ton of stuff I just like if there's something small I want like a book or something like I just buy it instantly um I'm not like whatever anyways um so my goal is instead when there's something that I want I want to kind of be like okay if you work out three times this week you can buy the book or as you guys can tell I'm obsessed with books like look at they don't even fit in there but anyways okay so um <clears throat> Or, you know, oh, you want that shirt, okay, you need to eat healthy or eat good or, you know, um, not be so negative one day or, you know, help somebody out or do something good or, anyway, I just want, po like, a positive reward system for, for, like, things I do that are good that I should be doing. So, um, that's one of my goals is to spend less money on myself, save more. And if I do want something really, really bad, maybe let be less impulsive about it. And um, if I do want it to, you know, I have to reward myself by doing certain things in order to get it. So that's one of my goals. Um, oh my God, I'm so burpy. Another one of my goals is to be more of a housewife. And not by like 1950s housewife, just in general be more of an adult. But um, more cooking at home, more cleaning. Um, but like the typical housewife stuff that just, you know, adults should do that I don't want to do. So um, like I said, like more cleaning, more staying organized, more decluttering, cooking, um, just staying more organized and... Um, focused on being more adult like keeping up on laundry you know not waiting until there's so much that nobody has any underwear or socks <sighs> um but anyways yeah so um doing things like that is my goal tips for you for also um picking goals um for the new year is if your goal is to you know lose weight start small start with small goals and work up your way to a bigger goal so if at the end of the day, um, your New Year's resolution is to lose 50 pounds by the end of the year. Instead of focusing on the number 50, try to focus on losing four pounds a month. You know, whatever it is divided by 12. Whatever, however much weight you wanna lose, um, instead of making that your big goal at the end of the year, like I wanna lose 50 pounds, divide it up by 12 months and try to do little goals. Or if you know that winter you're not gonna lose as much weight or you're not gonna be as active, Say your goal is to lose two pounds in January, three pounds in February, um, and then go from there. Start small. Make smaller goals to get to your big goal, um, and that's what I'm intending to do also. Instead of looking at such a big picture, sometimes it's very hard and disheart disheartening to stay up with something when you have such a big goal to reach, but if you stay consistent and small and do small goals to work up to your big goals, um, it's easier to tackle them. So that is my number one tip for any goals you have in the new year. Whether it, and it doesn't have to be weight wise, you know, if your goal at the end of the year is to make or save so much money, do that. Start small though. Um, obviously if you want to save three grand by the end of the year, if that's a big number for you, then start by doing it small or weekly or figuring out how to pay um, things down or th how to save and put money away in small amounts so at the end of the year it is a big amount but it wasn't a big drastic change to you where you felt like you were putting your entire paycheck away or however much money you make those are some of my tips for um, any goals you may have in the new year um, I know I've said this before if you've watched my videos before um, journaling planning writing things down is the best way to stay on track stay consistent and keep ahead of the game um, you know if you have things to do during the week make to-do lists write them down um, tackle them one by one to get to your overall goal so I'm gonna conclude this video here and hopefully you'll be seeing more of me soon 
If you have any goals you would like to share or any ideas, please comment them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Thanks guys. Bye.